imagine my book cover to be if it was published. So, And to get a taste of what my book is all about, I made a blurb, which is like what's on the back of the book. So you can you can summarize the you can read the summarization of the book before you actually flip through it. Vera's life seems to be going downhill. Her parents are dead, her brother has gone missing, and the police have captured her and dumped her on the doorstep of the dreaded orphanage. Although the headmistress is extremely cruel and abusive, Vera feels that life at the orphanage is almost bearable. Her roommates at the orphanage, Hazel, Nala, Arya, Liliana, become so close to each other that they treat each other like sisters. As their lives in the orphanage become tougher and tougher, their curiosity grows. Vera and her sisters, accompanied by a shy boy named Declan and his friends, venture through the mysterious orphanage and uncover some of its darkest se uncover some of its darkest secrets, while unknowingly revealing some of their own. Oh, that, oh. And then I also have an excerpt from my book that I'd like to share. I inched along the old, moist wall, gently brushing the ground with my silent steps. The man in the room sounded crazy and mad, muttering nervously under his breath. Who was this guy? What is he hiding? I got closer and closer to the door, my fingertips just barely touching the doorknob. Clunk. The muttering stopped. The whole building fell silent. Who's there? The man shouted, his voice hesitant and frightened. I looked behind my shoulder. I was so terrified, I was about to scream like a banshee. Be careful, I mouthed violently to the rest of the group. They all stood still, waiting for a sound to penetrate the air. Even my breath was still, and my head was swimming. writing inspiration. So this is JP Rowling, my one of my favorite authors of all time. And she showed me that if you work really hard, you can be really successful as an author. So she just inspired me and gave me a goal to shoot at. Also my teachers were a big part of getting me to start writing because ever since I was in elementary school they told me that I had talent and I didn't even know it, and I also enjoyed writing, so I decided to try it out. The biggest challenge I faced was writer's block, which is basically losing interest in your writing. And that was, it's a lot harder than it sounds. It's like if you lose interest, it, you can't get back at it right away. The longer you wait, the more you forget about your story, and it's was just really hard for me. And this can happen like if you forget what happens in your story or can't find the right words or if you know the plot but you don't know what scenes would be good to connect together. And this is my brother. He helped me get over writer's block and he would always tell me that my book was amazing and I should keep going. So whenever I would come home from school, he'd always ask me if I added more to my book. And he just kept me going. I'm grateful that he's there for me. And he just really wanted me to succeed. And at one point, he said that he didn't know who his favorite author is, Rick Riordan or me. Uh, future for my book, I'm planning on having two more books in my series to have a trilogy because chili cheese are really just popular now, divergent. So I was planning on making three books, and I was also planning that the third book would be different from the other two, so I could have a prequel or something that happens in the far future. Any questions? <laughs>